What is going on guys? I hope y'all are having a great day. This is the video you and I have been waiting on for so long and finally tonight It's already dark out so we don't have to wait till it gets dark out like transition like 22 hours later. What are you arguing about? The guy that owned this thing before you like hoarded forks. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. I still got to clean that thing out. But we are about to get the first gen moved out of the garage. This is the first time this first gen has been moved on its own power in like two months. So we are going to start this thing up. Actually, What the Duck, Prime in Blood, the P-Pumped, the one the only What the Duck here. It's such an honor to have him in the garage, starting the truck up, backing it up for me. But we are going to bring the first gen out of the garage, park it over in the grass because we still have to fix that oil leak on the uh, oil pan gasket. Then we're going to bring the second gen inside here. And we're going to be installing our headlights on the second gen. I have them flipped over right now. That's one of them. Here's the other one. Mary Motos. You guys are going to love these things. They're going to be super bright. We're going to get Hold on. We're going to get them installed tonight after we get the second gen in here. But first and foremost, yeah, go ahead and fire up. It'd be nice to see if these brakes work. Leveling kit looks so much better. The tires used to be, the wheel wells used to be covering the tires, the top of the tires. So it lifted it up about six inches, I'd probably say. I mean, that's my hand. It lifted it up the size of my hand. And I got pretty big hands, so it's definitely a huge improvement for the first gen. Those old coils were so saggy, it was ridiculous. the cab lights work surprisingly got our blinkers up here we do have headlights for the first gen if you guys didn't see yesterday's video we do have headlights for the first gen that we're gonna get installed they're right here they're sick I showed a sneak peek on my brother's channel so make sure you subscribe to what the duck to see the sneak peek of the first gen headlights that'll be in a video here coming up we got some really nice headlights for it hey go do the brakes work good yep I mean, touchy Second gen's about to pull in here, and I can't wait to show you guys these headlights. First, I'm gonna clean some stuff out of the garage before I move the second gen in here. Probably sweep a little bit, so I'll catch up with you about 20 minutes or so. All right, guys, so before we see where we're going, let's see where we've been. These headlights have been on this truck Actually, they, they're so old. These headlights are so old. We're gonna show you the new ones here in a second, but I wanna to explain to you guys. These headlights have been on my 1500. I had a 1500 silver Dodge Ram right before this one. It was a second gen, it was a 2001. Everything was exactly the same, except it was a 1500 with the 5.9 Magnum. And these headlights were on that truck. So these headlights are about three years old. They've done me good, but it's definitely time for them to go. You guys can see, they just look like crap up close. And this one over here, it looks even worse. I mean, let them see real quick how bad these headlights look. I mean, I even put some alcohol wipes in here to try to clean them, and I messed them up. I mean, these things just look like absolute crap up close, and they definitely need to get out of here. So today they're getting out of here, and the buttle that I put on these things yes. kind of messed them up a little bit. I mean, they were sealed. They never leaked, but I uh, definitely didn't do a professional job. Now that you've seen the headlights we've been running for the past year on the truck, like I said, they did good up until here recently. They just have to go now. They look completely horrible. You guys know I get all my headlight stuff from the HID factory. These guys do an amazing job. They killed this build. And actually, they're having these things up for sale on their website. So by the time you guys see this video, you can actually get the same headlights as these, custom built by the HID factory, LED Marimoto projectors. These things are absolute fire. There's a better look at the projector right there. I'm gonna show you the switchbacks here in a second that are gonna replace my old switchbacks. They're gonna be just as good, if not better, than the old ones. He's selling the switchbacks and these headlights on his website. Information for the HID factory will be in the description down below, and I'm about to show you their card as well. They absolutely killed this build. They got the PS2 paint match projector on here with the Marimoto LEDs. 
They got the matte black behind it that I requested. They can build these headlights however you guys want them. Just hit up Travis, he's a cool guy. He'll definitely set you up with some great headlights. Definitely recommend them. Let me give you their information real quick. Most of you guys already know their information if you've been with the channel for a while because I've installed so many products from them on the channel. You guys can pause your screen right here to write down their information. They're based out of Houston, Texas. They were hit heavy with the hurricane, but they're good now. There's their social media accounts to look them up on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And then the back of it just shows some of their products. They have everything you would need for your lighting needs. These things, the wiring harnesses are just second to none. Marimoto just does a great job. You guys know they're pretty much the best name in the lighting industry right now. And just the quality that Marimoto provides is really second to none. I haven't seen anybody else that can provide higher quality lighting. These headlights are gonna last a long time and he already sent me a picture of the lights in a video and they're super bright too. We're gonna to show you guys how bright they are here tonight. But like I said, the wiring harness, second to none, gonna last a very long time. And the headlights themselves look amazing. I'll show you guys the other side real, real quick as well. This is gonna be the driver's side. This one's gonna go over here. Place. Let's see a side-by-side, -side, Hunter. Huge improvement for the second gen. Can't wait to get these on. We're about to install them real quick and then catch up with you right after. I almost forgot to show you guys the new switchbacks, but look at these things. Look at the quality on these things. Once I take them out of the package, I'll probably show you again. They are absolutely insane. These are gonna be super bright. how bright these things are this is with only my headlights not even my fogs are on right now just headlights and switchbacks you can see at least a hundred meters up the road it doesn't blind oncoming passengers pretty much the perfect headlight in my opinion that you can get the M on the ground that displays is pretty freaking sick I've gotten a lot of compliments on that already people have never seen that before I had never seen it before either I'll show you guys the front of it the camera may even get affected by this, it might even hurt the camera, so I'm not going to shine on it too hard. That projector is so bright. Again, you can see my fogs, I have bright fogs from Diode Dynamics, but they're not even on right now. This is just the headlights and the cap lights if you even want to consider that uh, illuminating the road. But By far the brightest headlights I've ever owned in my life. I couldn't be happier with these things. Travis at the HID factory absolutely killed it with these. I'm gonna turn the truck off, catch up with you guys in the garage and end out this video. So I've been running the headlights for about four days now and I wanted to make sure that these things weren't gonna blind oncoming passengers, not be bright enough on dark country roads without any street lights, things like that, pretty much in a testing period. You guys have been waiting for this video for a long time, but I hope you can understand and respect that. I wanted to wait three or four days driving the truck every day of those days just to make sure you guys were getting a good product if you do want to go with these headlights. And I can tell you man to man or man to woman, if I do have any female viewers, I don't think I do, but I am telling you, 
I wouldn't recommend any other headlights to you. The HID Factory's information will be down below. If you're serious about getting a good pair of headlights at an affordable price, trust me, these are at an affordable price compared to some of the headlight bills that are out there, like over $1,000 and things like that. These are not over $1,000, not even close. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Snapchat did see these headlights first. I just released a Snapchat earlier when I was doing the engine mod. I did do the engine mod tonight too. You guys aren't gonna see that video until tomorrow, maybe even the next day. Uh, depends on when I upload it, but Snapchat was just released. Snapchat saw the engine modification already that you guys will see here on YouTube in the coming days. And Snapchat also saw the headlights before it happened too. So follow me on Snapchat. I just released it tonight. It's Paradox 24 valve B, or 24V. I'll put it on the screen right now. When you took Paradox, man, if you took Paradox, let me know and DM me on Instagram. Let me have it back. Don't be holding it for ransom on me, but uh, we'll stick with Paradox 24V more than likely. Uh, I'm not sure who took Paradox, but not that I know of anybody else there on social media with the name Paradox, but I thought that was kind of weird. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the headlights. Did you like them? Did you not like them? You're not going to hurt my feelings if you didn't like them. Uh, maybe you would go with a different style. Maybe you don't think that M they're MLEDs, brand new. LED projectors, this hasn't been out very long. And the link down in the description below will get you directly to this headlight build. It'll tell you all the specs on it, way more in depth than you probably have seen in this video. So if you had any questions, any concerns, click the first link in the description down below. It'll take you right to the headlights. But leave a like on this video if you did. This was a long time coming. Please leave a like on this video. These headlights are freaking amazing. They deserve a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. A lot of things to come. By the way, just got off the phone, turbo for the 12 valve on its way. Actually, it's been on its way for like three days now, so it should be here in the next two days. Uh, just talked to a couple people. A lot of things coming. Be excited for that 12 valve. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, be excited for that 12 valve. If you're not already, that 12 valve is going to be not a monster, but it's going to be a lot nicer here in the next couple days. So I'll see you guys there. I still don't know who you are. There's more to life than likes and hopping bars and getting high inside your car. You're feeling distant, feeling far. Your wallet's up. I know it's hard and so. Tell me something, hold